How's it going, everyone? All right, so I got some new stuff that just came in. I want to introduce. How's it going? I'm Jeff, and I'm here to trade some stuff in today. So what's going on, Jeff? All right, so you called me earlier about what you got. So you got a... Right, so we got a Jungle Green uh, Nintendo 64. Uh, it's got the red expansion pack inside of it, uh, matching controller, all the original uh, Nintendo Corps power supply. Uh, some few games. Some games that are in there, all classic titles. Uh, Anybody that played 64, I'm sure knows these games. Um, then here we got a Game Boy Advance, uh, like mint condition. Uh, it is the uh, the AGS 101. 101. Uh, you can see it super bright, fires right up. Those are actually the most sought after ones right now. Everybody's yeah, looking for makes, those. Uh, I know why. Yeah, it makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah, they are a big difference. Uh, then you no, got some, there, um, some Nintendo games Game Boy here, games. Classic, some Sega stuff here. Awesome. Double Dragon 3. Oh, Double Dragon 3, man. And then uh, Global Gladiators. You don't see that one too much. Mickey yeah. Mouse, Capcom Classic. Um, classic some. Game Boy right here. Got Super Mario Land 2, Wario Land, uh, Super Mario Land, Game & Watch Gallery, Wario Land 2. Um, there's even some Japanese games in here. Which play on the like Game Boy. Yeah, it'll still, it'll yeah. still work on there. So, um, old Pokemon, Powerpuff Girls, and um, another Japanese one. So, some weird weird titles in there. Dead Heat Scramble. Um, Toy Story. I think that's Yu-Gi-Oh, I want to say. Japanese. Another Pokemon. Uh, another Pokemon. These ones were cool. Where they had the the double the color, color. Yeah. yeah not a lot of people could tell but yeah um all we this got is just a single so color yeah and then yeah. yeah they look nice oh yeah all these are and nintendo 64 they actually came with like a dual color too like right? all the labels on those are pretty good that was uh that's Yoshi's. the thing about japanese stuff man they, they always have better stuff man um yeah and then just some some whatever titles classic one defender 2 uh we got mario world batman forever for super nintendo uh, Quake for Dreamcast, uh, Virtual Tennis. That one's gonna be a tough sell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then just you know, a ton more. There's like Mario Kart's in here, and uh, another Game and Watch for. Um, let's see what's on this. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Good game, man. Then what do you got over here? You got some Atari oh, this games. One's, uh, this one's crazy. You know, you're not gonna see these, man. German Atari right here. German with Atari? The, with the um, actual manuals, yeah. So these are all actual from Germany for 2600 Okay. It's classic, right? Here. I don't know about German games, but whoever knows about German games, please comment there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like everybody's favorite uh, Schnapp D Apfel D Bay. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's, there's some random, like this one's uh, like Pitfall. I'm so Jungle right. Boy. I'm surprised. Crazy. I've never seen a German Atari, man. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, some more Genesis to uh, like complete, I think, in the cases. Uh, Final Fantasy for GameCube. Uh, Dragon Quest for Wii. And then just more, we got more Atari in here. These are some weird ones. I don't know if there's a market for them, but there's like a Vic and uh, is it a Texas Instruments the or something? Commodore Vic. Oh, okay. Old Commodore games, and then these. Old school stuff. I mean, somebody man. might, yeah, I don't know. They could be gems, I'm not sure. But I'm like, I'll bring them down. And then more Atari stuff and controllers, Nintendo stuff. Then in here is just a bunch of so pretty much every Atari system. Atari like 2600, the, the small junior like the junior, one. Junior, yeah. And then we got a. 5200 5200 the actual 5200 system where that thing would like flip up on it yeah that's probably that's my favorite favorite atari really yeah you just never got much love i just thought it was cool looking but yeah there's all kinds of controllers awesome um, all right so let's let's get to uh, what you want uh and then uh if i end up getting it like how I always do it, I show everybody, you know, what I ended up getting. So this is, I'm just showing everybody how it comes in. So that way you guys see everything that comes in. 
and then what it's available. So. Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Super Retro Mexican, also known as Carl's Delatory. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'm here. We're here at a Mondo store, and uh, I'm happy to talk about what we just got in. It's the PlayStation Portable kiosk right here, and this thing looks amazing. Now, when Armando first got this, he got this kiosk bare bones. There was nothing. There was basically just the, the metal, you know, just surrounding the, you know, the font and everything, and there was not even a PSP connected, nor there was a TV. So what he did was he got one of his own PSPs and rigged it to the, to the, con or to the kiosk, and uh, we're working on getting a Sony TV pretty soon. Um, obviously, it's supposed to be a Sony TV, but um, you know, once we get that in, we're gonna you know switch these out and uh, get that up there. But um, you know, I kind of just wanted to talk about you know, well, you know, I, when I first saw this as a kid, I mean, it was a big deal. Um, I got a PSP right when it first came out. I remember asking my aunt, like, I have to have this because when I first you know got into handheld gaming, it was the Game Boy Advance, and uh, um, it was just. It was, as a kid, it was cool because it was nothing like I had before. But once I saw the PSP came out, it blew me. It blew me out of the water. It's just being able to play music, watch videos, go on the internet was just something that I've never seen before. Um, you know, there was other stuff too, like um, like worser handheld. Okay, and there was other uh, handhelds like the Nokia Engage. So what Armando did with this PSP is that he installed it and he basically ran the whole electrical system through this mount right here and this goes all the way from the back and it's connected with this TV right here. So he actually did some pretty good work. Um, you know, so you can play around with it. There's games on the PSP just like how it used to be when you, you know, go into a store and try it out for yourself. Um, so, you know, talking about, um, you know, in the past, I remember I came down to the wire where whether I wanted a Nokia N-Gage or a PSP. I remember asking my father, you know, to buy me the N-Gage because it was like, oh, you could be on the phone and play games, and I thought that was a big deal, but we ended up getting with the PSP, which is a way better, you know, choice, and I, it was just so unique as it could be able to play games that were, you know, three-dimensional and, like, serious graphics, you know, compare the PSP to the GBA, it was just you know completely different something that I've never seen before um, I mean the games look pretty equivalent to a PS2 I mean they, they were pretty stellar you know back in the time um, but yeah like I said just being able to go on the internet you know browse Yahoo and freaking YouTube and uh, you know look at you know videos and stuff like that watch movies on there you know download music make your wallpaper that was just something that I was you know so happy to do as a kid and you know take it to school and have fun with it so I really have a fond memory with the PSP, um, and I ended up just keeping the, the original that I had. I never bought, um, I think it was called the PS Go or something like that. I never continued buying the the, the, the next generations of PSPs, but um, I just kept the original and it was good enough for me. Alright guys, so i um, got a lot to talk about because uh, there's been a lot that's been going on these past years, past days, past months, you know. So the reason why I haven't been coming around a lot and, you know, the reason why I've stopped making videos and just, you know, everything in general. Um, I was finishing up college. Um, I went to Cal State San Bernardino. So I got that all taken care of, but um, I'm also pursuing my career job. Um, I'm moving up north um, to, for law enforcement. And uh, I'm going to the academy um, in a couple of days. So um, I told Armando, you know, hey, this might be my last video. It might be, too. Um, but you know, I, I still continue to love video games. You know, I play video games almost every day. You know, I always look for the new thing that I want to get. Um, me and Armando are still close. Um, you know, I, we, I, I enjoy coming into the store. And Armando taught me a lot. You know, I would say um, I, I could give it up to Armando that uh, that he was the one that basically showed me everything I needed to know about videography and just kind of getting my feet wet with just the whole you know style of you know shooting film and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, hanging out with them and making the YouTube videos that we used to make was, uh, you know, a big part of, uh, you know, me getting into that in college and, you know, doing all that and, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that I was able to do that because, you know, I, I, I got to learn so much with them and, you know, so it's, it's more than just video games, it was a lot more than that and, you know, I was happy that I was able to share that. So, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, up north for the rest of my life, you know, I, I love being down here in SoCal, so I'm, I'm not trying to stay up there for too long, so eventually I'll come back down and, you know, be able to enjoy SoCal again and come into the store and, you know, you know, everything else, you know, and basically be able to live down here. But um, just for the time being, it's going to be a while, um, I'm probably not going to be coming down anytime soon. 
uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, it's finally, I got my chance to pursue my career and, you know, I'm going up north. So I just want to thank everybody that uh, that helped me, you know, that watched my videos, you know, that come into Armando's store, that told the both of us. You know, it's just very, uh, it's been very supportive with everything and, um, you know, I couldn't have done without you guys and, um, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you.